Plenty of communities should be concerned about the risk of flooding. Well, now we're looking into how people are preparing for all this water. Our team coverage continues now with NBC 10's Kirsten Glavin. She's in Worcester. Tuesday night, leaving even messier conditions on the snowy, slushy roads. You know, as long as these street guys stay up with the salting and, you know, plowing these little, you know, this, this sheet right here. Drivers preparing for potential flooding in some low-lying areas, with the ground already saturated from Sunday's snowfall. Wednesday's warmer temps only adding to the water issue. It's a lot of water on the ground, a lot of snow, and it's starting to melt, so. Many cities throughout the region asking workers and the public to help clear catch basins. Thousands of catch basins. We're getting to as many as we can. We're asking anybody that's got a snowblower or can get out there and clean them out. And free sandbags handed out to residents who have dealt with the issues, like in Lemonster. It's got to keep the water out. That's what's important. So we'll see. Just kind of unprecedented, right? All this, all the snow, then more rain. High winds also expected to make conditions even more unfavorable. I want everybody to always be safe, especially myself. And that was our Kirsten Glavin reporting. As this storm continues to move through the area, be sure to download the NBC10 Boston app. If your power goes out, you can still get the latest details on the weather from our team of First Alert meteorologists. Plus, you can even set up severe weather alerts for right where you live.